Hello and welcome to your fifth lesson in the ecology topic. I'm Mr Singleton, one of the associate directors for science for Outward. I'm just showing this slide because it's the specification that AQA give us um, and it can really help you out in terms of what you need to know for each topic. Uh, it's available online if you need it. So this is just for this lesson. Now, if you can turn your phones off, make sure they're away from you, make sure you've not got any distractions. And you might want a pen and paper or you might be writing revision cards um, just to help you get ready for year 11. So the lesson title, um, this is just a bit of a say what you see. So there's three pictures there. Say what you see, try and come up with a title for today's lesson. I'll give you 30 seconds. Okay, if you're struggling for um, that middle one, the French for good in is bon. All right, time's up. So this is uh, so this is the car bon cycle. Okay, so carbon cycle is your title. And these are your outcomes. So hopefully by the end of this lesson, you will be able to recall the different processes involved in the carbon cycle. Now the word processes, that comes up quite a lot in AQA exams. So just be aware of it. We'll talk about what it means in a minute. Um, but the different processes is what you need to know. And then the aspire is to describe how carbon moves from the atmosphere or the air into and through different organisms. So, these are the four different processes in the carbon cycle. So there's photosynthesis, respiration, decomposition and combustion. Now, I know that you've come across two of these before in biology. It was in a topic called bioenergetics, which is actually just a posh name for photosynthesis and respiration. So I'm just going to recap some of them two processes. So photosynthesis, can you think back, think about what plants need, because hopefully you know by now that plants carry out photosynthesis, what the plants need, what the plants give out, and try and write the equation for photosynthesis on your Google sheet, or just on a scrap piece of paper, I'll give you 30 seconds. Okay, so now time for the answers. So for photosynthesis, plants will need carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil, and they give out oxygen and they make glucose. Now, if you did the symbol equation, so that's CO2 plus H2O gives, that little arrow meaning gives oxygen, O2, plus C6H12O6, which is glucose. And if you did even better and balanced it, you should have put a six in front of the carbon dioxide and the water and the oxygen, that's 666. Not many people usually forget that one, if I'm honest. Now, the important bit here is to look at this C at the bottom. So you see that carbon dioxide there and look where it goes to. It goes into making the glucose. That's going to become really important later on. Now, the other process that we have talked about is respiration. So I want you to have a go at writing the word equation or the symbol equation. Balance it if you can for respiration. Again, use a Google sheet or a piece of paper. And if you're really struggling, use that photosynthesis equation to help you. I'll give you 30 seconds. Remember, this is a process that happens in every living organism. So what is it that animals and plants need 
And what is it that we give out as well? Okay, so here's your answers. So we will take in, and animals will take in, oxygen and glucose, and then we give out carbon dioxide and water. And just remember that plants do this process as well. Every living thing does. And it happens in every living cell. Not, not just breathing. Breathing is just the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Now again, just have a look at this carbon underneath. It's in the glucose and it gets put back out into the atmosphere into, as carbon dioxide. So these are the four processes. AQA talk about processes and it's talking about the carbon cycle then these are the processes that you need to look at. So there's photosynthesis, which takes carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. It's the only process that takes it out of the atmosphere. Then there's respiration, which puts carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And then we've got these other two. So we've got decomposition and combustion. We'll talk about decomposition on the next couple of slides. Combustion, you might have come across it's when we burn hydrocarbons and what it does is it will release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So when we're burning things like oil or coal or gas, we're going to release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So there are the four processes. I've just put down some letters there. Look, P for photosynthesis, R for respiration, D for decomposition and C for combustion. I'm just wondering if there's a way you can come up a mnemonic of ways to remember those four processes. I'll let you write that down on a revision card. I'll give you a minute. See if you can think about a way of remembering. I thought about people read DC comics. Trying to think one about social distancing, but I can't work it out yet. But if you can come across, come up, come up with a way of remembering those, it'll really help you. Okay, you've got 30 more seconds. Okay, so just a little bit of a progress check. Let's see what you can remember. On your Google form, try and complete question three. If you're not using your Google form, then why not just have a go at writing those four processes down and how they move carbon around. So did they put it into the atmosphere or did they take it out of the atmosphere? I'll give you a minute. Ten more seconds. Okay, right, let's have a look. By now, I think that you can probably recall those four processes that are involved in the carbon cycle. Now, let's have a look at how that actually all comes together and how the carbon moves from the atmosphere and through the different organs. So this is something I've just picked up off Google. I don't think it's very useful, actually. I think it's quite confusing. So I just want you to be careful about how you do things. So instead, what I've done is I've put together this animation. Now, this little black dot that's in the sky there, that is going to be our carbon atom. And whilst it's in the sky or in the atmosphere, it's carbon dioxide. But as you now know, 
this carbon dioxide will move into this plant and the plant will use it in the process called photosynthesis. It will add more, five more carbon atoms together to make that six carbon molecule, which is glucose. Now let's just say for instance, that glucose molecule is in some grass and this lovely little cow comes along and eats that grass. Now that glucose, that carbon, which was in the plant has moved into the cow. Okay, we don't often use the word eats in biology. What we use is the word consumed. So the cow consumes the plant and now that cow has the glucose inside it. Now, unfortunately for this cow, it's gonna live quite a short life and it's gonna end up dying. Now, that glucose molecule is still inside that cow as it's died, still stored in there. And what happens is there's bacteria in the air and there's bacteria living on the cow that will take this glucose in a process where it decomposes the cow and it will take that glucose and use it for itself. Okay, so it takes the glucose and it takes some oxygen and it carries out the process, which is respiration and releases that carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. So the carbon atoms gone from the atmosphere into the plant, into the cow, the cows then died and the bacteria decomposed it and released the carbon back through respiration. Now remember I said all living things can respire. So the other living thing that can respire in this is this plant. This plant will also carry out respiration. So it will take that glucose that it's made and release it to release some energy into the atmosphere again by respiration. Now we'll just do a bit of science magic and we'll just bring this cow back to life. There we go. And this cow, whilst it's alive, can take the glucose in its body from that plant and release it as carbon dioxide as well in the same process, which is respiration. So all three living things there, all them, that plant, the animal, or the cow in this case, and the bacteria will all release it through respiration. Now, for the eagle-eyed among you, there's one process I haven't talked about. If this cow dies, and if this plant dies, and there's no oxygen around, then that bacteria can't live. But the cow and the plant will decompose and make a fossil fuel. So that can be coal, oil, or gas. And then what happens is we dig that up, pipe it out, burn it, or it combusts, and it releases carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide can also be released into the atmosphere through the combustion. Okay, so let's see what you can remember. Well, either on your Google form, try and add them labels to the carbon cycle, or if you're not using them Google forms, draw it out on a piece of paper, take a picture of it and send it to your teacher in Google Classrooms. Remember AQA, they can put this as a six mark question sometimes, describe how carbon moves through the atmosphere and organisms. Okay, you can draw that out okay, and add on the labels and you'll still pick up lots of the marks. I'll give you three minutes, try and remember what you can. So just remember, there's the atmosphere at the top there, and then there's the plant, and then there's the animal, usually a cow, and then there's the bacteria. Okay, and then remember those four processes that happen. Remember them processes we did at the beginning of the lesson, P 
people read DC Comics? Okay, 30 more seconds. Okay, so just to recap, this is a good idea just to put it onto a revision card. So you've got photosynthesis, that's the only pre process which will take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. This is why plants are so important, because they're the only thing that can take that carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and reduce global warming. Remember, all living things respire, so they will all release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, even the bacteria and even the plants. When organisms die, bacteria will always break them down, and that's decomposition. And then burning the fossil fuels, that's the dead organisms, will also release carbon dioxide. And when we talk about the atmosphere, we're just talking about the air. Okay, so we've done both challenge and aspire. We hopefully can recall the four different processes involved in the carbon cycle, and we know how that carbon moves from the atmosphere and through all the different organisms. So what I want you to do, there's a Google quiz at the end of this lesson. All right, I want you to have a go at the other questions. There's a couple of hard ones there at the end. Have a good go at them. See how you get on. Well done. Bye.